Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and I wanted to start today's video off by welcoming you to my blog and saying thank you for all the support and love that you have shared recently both here and over on my Instagram. I've been struggling quite a bit um, for the past, I don't know, <laughs> little while. Um, it's been a rough ride and a rough time since my infusion um, not only like health wise but also things we're dealing with in the family we have a lot of um, trials that we are facing at the moment we have a few family members uh, one is one which is not doing very well we are expecting her to pass away within the weekend and it's just hard mentally and emotionally and all of those things and that affects me and my body and my MS symptoms a lot and um, to just explain a little bit how I'm feeling currently so my mom took the kids yesterday after school and work to give me and Caesar some time alone and some time to like try and relax keeping in mind that we haven't had time together by ourselves since June <laughs> it's been a long summer it's been a long <laughs> summer um, we have been working a lot and I was in the hospital and we went to Sweden and it's been just a world will win things uh, so we really wanted some time just to you know reconnect him and I uh, so she got the kids yesterday around 6.30 in the evening and we had a night alone. We went to the cinema, we saw a movie, um, which was fun. I didn't like the movie that much, to be honest, <laughs> but we had some food before and I was just like, how am I going to be able to go to the movies? I'm so tired. Um, so my fatigue is quite severe at the moment. and. Anywho, we did it. I'm glad I did it. But then I went to bed around midnight and I woke up by myself around 8.30, I want to say. So I had a good night's sleep. Um, but I'm the same fatigue this morning when I wake up. I feel like I haven't slept at all. And my pain level today is really, really high. Um, so I have chron chronic neurologic pain. Um, that starts from um, the very top of my neck and it runs all the way down my neck, my shoulder and then through my entire arm all the way down to my wrist. And it's a very strange pain because it's, it's painful to the touch. So like even if I just do like this, if I just tap myself on the skin, the pain that shoots through my arm is just so bad <laughs> and then every time I just move it's just it's excruciating and it's unbearable at times and I've started rehab so I thought long story short I would do some rehab exercises with you this morning to try and ease my discomfort I uh, had a few questions like how, how is rehab going hope you're feeling better um, so I've been now going twice a week for a week and a half and at, in the beginning we were just doing like pain management and uh, so they were giving me soft massages and like um, I got to use this TENS machine uh, with electrostimulant something something I don't know how to say um, and I'm not feeling a difference like my pain is just the same so I don't know. Uh, but then we're also doing some balance exercises because my balance is way off and so I need to do that and she said that I have I'm very like stiff in my neck and it's I'm aware of that and I think it's me trying to like um, keep my head still to try and like control the pain level because if I can be still then I can keep my pain level around 8 seven maybe but as soon as I start to move my head my pain level just shoots 
to like a 10 <laughs> and it comes in like impulses and it's like I get a lightning through my body and it's just like it's unbearable uh, so I've learned how to like keep my head still and do like movements and I feel like a robot sometimes but that's what I have to do and that's what I've been doing for the past two and a half years so it's quite difficult to get that like habit if you say and uh, to like stop that habit um, because obviously I don't want to be in pain and I haven't taken any medication this morning because I want to be clear in my head and that's the thing like they're prescribing me pain relief and I'm currently on something called Lyrica and I feel like it's taking off the edge but it's not like managing the pain that well so I have to take it in the morning and in the evening if I want to feel any kind of difference but that leaves me drunk basically and I'm like I like to be clear-headed I like to be able to make my own decisions I like to be like fully there and I think that these medications sometimes is more it more cli clouds our minds than actually taking away the pain if that makes sense um, so yeah a little update this morning but I wanted to take you through my day um, a day living with MS and it starts with me this morning doing some rehab exercises and we'll see what else we decide to do but thank you for sticking around thank you for stopping by if you are new don't forget to subscribe and a big thank you to all my original followers and all my new followers if you want to get to know me please comment down below what you would like me to post and what kind of things that you struggle with or that you would like for me to cover um, I would love to know where you guys are from sometimes you will comment something you say love from Scotland or love from Germany or whatever and I would just love to hear where you guys are from it's so fun and and I like to get to know you like with names and you know sometimes your um, usernames don't reflect on your real name so if you would want to you could comment with your real name maybe and where you're from that way we can get to know each other a little bit better and we can start conversations because it's not just a one-way street, street here I feel like we are making a community and I feel like we should all be there for each other so if you want to like discuss amongst yourself uh, selves down in the comments too feel free to do so like I love a good discussion so yeah let's open up for that but keeping everything like friendly and uh, hopeful I um, would appreciate that but anyway um, yeah let's jump into today's vlog can we work it out only time will tell it's gonna take a lot because we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed so can we work it out Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know all your flaws, at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I've failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell I still want all of you And I know all your colors So that was a couple of my rehab exercises for my neck and I do feel like my mobility in my neck is a little bit better today than it was like two days ago but it's still very painful and when I try to twist my head like that I will lose vision and I will get nauseous and I will get dizzy and I'm just gonna take a little moment to like recoup now and <laughs> it doesn't look like much but it feels like I've done a lot um, I'm gonna have Caesar assist me when I have to do my um, balance exercises because I do tend to like <laughs> want to fall over 
and so I'm gonna have him help me with that. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee now. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, I think, while I fold some laundry. And then after my exercises are done, I'm gonna have a nice long shower. I'm gonna try and like, you know, do all the things, like wash my hair, shave, exfoliate, like all the things. And I'm gonna use all of the skincare that I have. Most of the skincare I'm using currently has been delivered through my goodie box. So I'm very happy with that subscription. Now I get, keep going off about that, but like, and it's not sponsored or anything, but it's actually giving me joy. <laughs> like, I like to share when I find something that I like. And um, yeah, anywho, let's get on with the coffee. dark already. Caesar and I have been a couple of hours in the shopping center and of course I forgot to bring my camera um, but I was walking around with some difficulty. Felt very tired and my legs felt very heavy so it wasn't that fun of a trip but we had some lunch and he sorted out some bits that he needed to do and we picked up a few things too but I wanted to um, take the opportunity to talk about one of the symptoms that I've been receiving questions about and that's my um, optic neuritis. Mm. So some, someone asked a long time ago how I would describe it and for me I feel like it's not so much pain as discomfort and if you look to the side I feel kind of like pressure around my eyeball. <laughs> I don't feel pain, pain, I feel pressure. And then if I look to the side, I lose my vision in my left eye. And then when I'm just looking straight uh, on you, I have a reduced vision field. And then I have uh, my pupils are not um, reacting as they should to light so when it's really light um, I feel very like oof like I need to put my sunglasses on uh, to be able to see but not like in a normal sense I mean <laughs> see at all <laughs> I need to put them like now when it's dark outside even I want to, to put them on because I feel like a discomfort I feel like a pressure around my eyes when it's too light and then um, I also have in my left eye um, like grey spots floating around and on my right eye I have a white worm as I described it. So if you imagine like, a, I don't even know how to describe it, um, if you look up pictures of cells and things on microscopic level, if you like think of those kind of, kinds of images. Uh, when I say a worm, that's the kind of worm I mean, not like the worms that we see on the ground. Um, and it's completely like see-through. It's white, I would describe it. Um, it adapts to the color of its surroundings, um, but it's always there. And when it's very light outside, I see it more than I do uh, when it's darker outside. So that's a little bit how I would describe my optic neuritis like day-to-day -day kind of um, yeah what it has become. Um, 
So a few blogs back I had, uh, in, well this summer I was admitted to the hospital uh, due to my optic neuritis uh, and I had so many like issues going on at the same time. It was all of that plus double vision plus like I felt like I was watching like like I couldn't see. Um, everything was just like like this <laughs> all the time. Uh, so that's calmed down but I'm still with my like spots and um, the worm thingy and uh, pressure around my eye and reduced vision field that unfortunately they don't think is gonna go away um, yeah so the plan for the rest of the evening is just to relax because I'm too exhausted to think of anything else to do um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here it wasn't as eventful as I thought it would be but like yeah can't force it either um, but thank you guys for being here today and I hope that you got something out of today's vlog. Um, like I said, don't forget to comment down, I would love to get to know you guys. And if there is anything else that you want me to cover or anything like specific you want to see from me, please let me know. But I will see you guys in a future update, okay? I'll see you soon. Much love, bye! Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell